Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the SH Figure Arts Hulk. This Hulk has been much anticipated by everyone. When it first came out, it sold out in hours, maybe even less than that. I finally got a good tip from a friend named Omega Red on Instagram. Uh, I'll put his name down here somewhere. Go follow him. He's a great artist. He takes awesome pictures. Recently, though, this figure has been coming under a lot of scrutiny. Once the actual figure released, we started noticing that it didn't look like the promotional images that we were promised. Uh, that Hulk was much greener, and the face sculpts were much different. They looked really great. And these ones have been coming out a little green, like Mountain Dew green, as someone on my IG described it. And the face sculpts have been downright bad. Uh, fingers crossed that my face sculpts don't suck, and I'm one of the lucky ones. We'll see. Let's open it up. Drum roll, is it as bad as we thought? Uh, damn, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It did turn out to look a lot better than what I had been seeing. With that being said, you know, it is passable, but Tamashi really needs to do a better job. For how much we're paying for these figures, you got to do better face sculpts. I'm not really going to let you slide on that. Like I said, it's not bad, but it's not the best it could be. Hopefully, I'm not just lucky and got a nice face sculpt and someone else's is bad. I'd really hate for that to happen with how expensive it is. This face mold is, again, just a passable look. The other one's a lot better. I'm feeling like on camera this is looking a little bit more lime green than it is in person. It's a little bit flatter than that, but I really think what's throwing off these head sculpts might be the flat black hair. There's just no shading to it. It doesn't look very good. It doesn't. I, I'm not really liking it at all. If you can see what I mean, I mean, it just doesn't look good. I think it throws off the figure just a little bit. You know, hair can do that. Self-consciously, we see hair, and that can actually make a person ugly. A lot of people have also scrutinized this face mold because it doesn't look like Mark Ruffalo. And I'm going to tell you first off that that's the reason why I do like it the most is because it doesn't look like Mark Ruffalo. It's more of a comic-looking face, and that appeals to me. What do you guys think of the face sculpt? Is it okay? Is it passable and excusable? Let me know in the comments below. Looking at the rest of the mold and the paint apps, it came out really well done. I like the shading. I like the veins throughout his arms and everything. The muscle structure looks really well done. And for the most part, the joints are hidden pretty well. Whenever you have great articulation, you have to sacrifice the mold a little bit and the way he looks in some poses. But they've done a really well job to make it all look really flesh. Got a lot of great muscle structure in the back, again with the shading, the darker green and lighter green, all looks really, really good. The person who sculpted this definitely studied his muscles. I'm not sure if these are movie accurate pants or not. I think I'm a little confused because the Figma version of the Hulk has all brown pants. But I'm almost certain that they did give him new pants in the movie so that he can, you know, flex in them and everything. And these look really well done. You can actually see the wrinkles, like right here in his button on the side. So they actually look like pants. More great detail in Hulk's feet. And you can tell a figure's been given a lot of love if even the bottom of the feet look great. It's a little flat there on the heels and on the toe, but that's just to help it stand. One of the best things about this Hulk figure that you won't get in any other ones so far is the fact that he has open hands and closed fists. Generally, you're stuck with either closed fists or open hands or Toy Biz's old weird articulated hands that go like that. So that is a huge positive with this Hulk figure. Hulk's head can turn around 360 degrees. He's got some pretty good articulation looking down. Not as much going up. And he also has a little pivot on here. And that's pretty neat. To the side, it looks really weird. It looks like he has no neck at all. He's got a lot of crucial articulation here in his armpits and his shoulders. They can move back pretty darn far, which is going to be great to get him into a lot of smashing poses. He's got the wing joints just a little bit. They don't work too well, but it can't quite go all the way around 360. You can get it to about here, and then you can get it up to there, and it goes around. So I wouldn't keep spinning it, though. It starts to get caught and stuck a little bit, so I'd be wary of that. Hulk has double-jointed elbows. They can get past 90 degrees. His wrist articulation is a bit lacking. It can go back just a little bit, not much forward. It does 360. And his other hand sculpt, it's not much better. A little bit of the same. You can go down just a little bit more, but and again, 360. No ab crunch, but he does have a diaphragm joint. You can go down pretty far and back pretty far. You do start to see some holes in there. It's not too bad, but it is a little bit unsightly. Uh, just a little bit of a waist swivel here. The skin starts rubbing against the pants, so I wouldn't go much farther than that. It doesn't pop out at all. 
It doesn't go in at all either. His legs don't kick out too far and they don't kick back as far either. I mean, that's barely at all. They do come out quite a bit though. Hulk's got double jointed knees. Get you lots of range of motions on that. He's got a nice ankle pivot. And there is a bit of a rocker in there too. So that's a lot of great ankle articulation. The joints do stick out quite a bit, but it's not horrible. Uh, he's also got foot articulation or toe articulation. Here's Hulk compared to some of the Marvel Legends I have laying around. He stands at about seven and a half inches tall, which I guess is a normal size for Hulk. He is bigger than Star-Lord and Drax and a little bit shorter than Groot, which makes sense to me. Overall, I really do like this figure. I am pleasantly surprised. On IG, I was giving a lot of hell, but it turned out to be a lot better than I thought. Face sculpts, they are bad. Uh, they could be a lot better, but they also could be a lot worse. I'm not trying to give Tamashi any slack or anything. They really do need to do a lot better on these SH figure art face molds. I have no complaints about the paint apps. I have no complaints about the articulation. It definitely is the best Hulk that your money can buy. It is expensive, which stinks because a lot of people aren't going to be able to enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more from me. Uh, other than that, that's all I got for today, guys. Hope you have a good one. Peace.